this while while we're being brought because there's a common misconception about MDMA that has been uh, proven to be false, and it, it was like that it makes holes in your brain. Well, yes, yeah, it, yeah. Um, Oprah is a big uh, person responsible for that, actually. Um, so um, there was uh, it started on MTV and went to Oprah. This is around 2001. So what had happened was that there was a young woman who, um, who her mother worked at a drug abuse treatment center, and she had problems with cocaine. She had problems with marijuana. She had problems with ecstasy, other things. And so they arranged, uh, and this was for this MTV show, that, that this woman would go and do a brain scan, a spec scan, which is blood flow in the brain, and then they would reveal the results to her live on TV. And... Um, this was at this uh, drug abuse treatment center that, that their, her mother worked at, and they, they revealed the results, and the results showed these holes in the brain. And it was a graphically manipulated image. So spec scans show blood flow through the brain, and there's certain areas that light up when you have more blood flow than others. And so they took an arbitrary cutoff. Any place that had lower than a certain amount of blood flow, they showed as a hole. And it was just complete propaganda. It was to scare this young woman to supposedly do it. She'd done all these other drugs and ecstasy anyway. So short time after that, Oprah decides that she's going to do a show. And she contacts me and, and us because we are now you know, advocates, and she, she knew about what we're doing, and we're trying to start MDMA research. She, she says she, she, her team says that the, they want to do two shows on ecstasy. It's such a big thing. They want to do one on the risks and one on the benefits. And I'm like, great, sounds great. And they said, well, we're going to do the one on the risks first. And they, they brought this woman who had all these holes in the brain, supposedly, to be um, on the show. If you had all the holes in the brain that they showed, you wouldn't be walking and talking. <laughs> you would be it was just big holes in her brain. So nobody seemed to put it together. Here, this woman, she seems fine, but this is her damaged brain. And we told Oprah's team, don't show this. This is fake. This is not real. And, um, and they did it anyway. And they had one woman who was um, a 24-year-old woman that was a raver, but she had um, positive experiences about MDMA. So they said, okay, she would be the one that would sort of um, say something positive about MDMA. And, and then Oprah said to her, um, do you know what you might be doing to your brain with all these holes in the brain? Um, we'd like to offer you a brain scan. And if your brain scan looked like hers, um, would you, I think it was Lynn Smith was her name that, that had the holes in the brain, um, would you stop using if your brain looked like that? And, and she said, well, I'd be willing to do a brain scan. But the very next day, she contacted MAPS. She contacted us and said that, um, should she do this brain scan? And I said, you definitely should do it, but do it with different people. Don't, don't do it with the people that they're, but definitely do this brain scan, and, and then you'll be on the show again, and you can show what the, what the results are. So she did the brain scan. And um, then she wrote me back, and she said, well, no holes, and uh, they've canceled the next show. There's no show on the benefits, and they're not bringing me back. And I'm like, They God. tricked you. They did. And then well, years— uh, Normal say, Hollywood producer show. It, it was just—and, yeah, no show on the benefits. Um, but then years later, over a decade later, when uh, Oprah was just a short time from closing her, um, her show, uh, but she had O Magazine— so she decided she would do a story on, uh, she would assign a senior editor to do a story on, X, on MDMA and the therapeutic use. And it was, it was like Oprah doing atonement. I said, would you be willing, though, to do another show on your TV show and bring this woman back who had all these holes in the brain, and let's see what she's doing now. And, and she actually did show some, some signs of brain damage in that she was working for the Partnership for a Drug-Free America. <laughs> <laughs> and she was as the exhibit of oh you know MDMA is terrible. So do you think they scared her with the holes in the brain to the point where she thought that drugs were ruining her life and she wanted to save other people? I think I think there was that yeah, and I think that uh, she wanted to get back in the good graces with her mother, and oh, that, that then she gets yeah. supported, and then she gets a job, and this whole thing. And so um, Oprah said, no, no, she's not willing to do another show, but this article would go for it in O Magazine, and the article was. Great, and the woman um, who was the reporter ended up um, going for um, an underground MDMA experience, which which I helped arrange, and it was very successful. And that's how the article ends. 
But it's great because it didn't like make a big deal of oh this is illegal underground. It was just like here's what happened to her, to, her, to MDMA. Mm -hmm. um, but it was in some ways propaganda in the positive way. It was like can a single pill save your life? Right. You know, before it's Simplistic. like this is gonna like cause holes in your brain. Now one yeah. pill is all you need, a magic pill, and then you're gonna be better for everything. Ignores the whole point that it's about the therapy and the context and the relationship.